What's up guys, I'm Chris Duke. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Today I wanted to make a little video about my white uh, Nissan Maxima that I've talked about in a couple previous videos, but I've never really gotten uh, into depth on the car. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that vehicle. I'm gonna go into the garage here. is so it's a little tight in here I got two vehicles in the garage and then whoever owned this house previous decided to repurpose kitchen cabinets in the garage I mean I use them for the time being but at some point we'll change it out so it's a little tight on this side so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this car out and we'll look at it outside so we can see everything better and get a little more light Okay, so I pushed the vehicle out enough that we can see the driver's side of the vehicle a lot better than we would if it were inside here. This is my O2 Maxima. I've had it since 2014. Got this when I lived in Jersey, so I bought it in New Jersey. And upon doing a little bit of research on the car before and a little more after I got the car, found it was originally a PA car, so from Pennsylvania. Really not going to make too much difference as far as expected condition and stuff like that because you know in the northeast you're just bound to get issues with salt and everything else and uh, you know the salt they put on the road for the snow that just destroys vehicles um, and this car unfortunately did have some issues related to that uh, but before i even get into that let me go back a little further when i got the vehicle this um rear right door had a dent in it right about here and you can tell that the dent actually extended to the other door the previous owner had already changed that door out since the front door had the majority of the damage to it so he changed that out before he sold the car and he got that door off a 2000 maxima now the 2000 maximas the white for the 2000 Maximus was like a brighter white and you can actually see because I reused the door handle it's a whiter white than the rest and the reason I did that was because I actually changed out the door to try to get a closer match I think I got it from an 02 or an 03 and the door handle had the chrome on it and obviously I couldn't have the chrome on there so I swapped out the door handle that was on the 2000 door and put it on this door and then the uh, rear door I got off again some other O2 or O3 and swapped that on there and that, that resolved the uh, dent issue I had there now if you look at the doors and you look at the rest of the car it's not a perfect match but it's it was close enough that I was like okay I'll just live with this until at some point get it painted but um never did get the whole car painted the rear one I got the car did have some damage right down in here which it's got a little bit of damage again because I backed in some guy with a gigantic tow hook on the back of his pickup truck and I tapped into it and didn't really even hit it that hard but you know it caused me some issues so at any rate before that happened I had this all painted and looking nice going back to these dents on the doors what I understand from the previous owner was um, the car was parked in a lot filled with snow it just snowed out and I guess the plow was out there and the car was white and the snow was white and apparently the plower didn't see the car and drove into the side of it which I don't know if that's really what happened or not but that's what I was told and you can kind of see damage down here related to the same thing there and there now you can see the front end the hood is not perfectly lined up it never has been it's a little tighter in right in here probably tighter than you would expect it to be. When you go on this side, you can see that the hood over here is 
is impinging on the front bumper cover right here and I've never really been able to correct that. Not that I've taken a whole lot of effort, but I tried to loosen up the hood and kind of adjust it a little bit. It got a little bit better. It's not quite as bad as it was, but it was never perfect. And we come to this. Uh, this has only been like this for the past, I don't know, couple months, I guess. The car was at my buddy's house, and he was moving some stuff around and shifting things in and out of his garage and trying to do some cleaning up, stuff like that. Uh, the Maxima was temporarily sitting in front of his driveway, and he's got the Red Nova, which actually I showed in the last video, so if you haven't seen that, check it out. 74 Red Nova. So that Red Nova was in the garage. He pulled it out, and then he chalked it up with some wood. Nova rolled over that wood and into the side of the car. So at that point, I was just like, man, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna get a clean maximum start over. Now, not that this car is a total loss or anything like that, but you know, this is pretty significant. I'm sure somebody could pull that out and it would be fine. But this has always been like that this since I've owned the car, as far as this piece kind of hanging off. I've tried to JB weld it on a couple times. I mean, other than that, it's not the worst car in the world. I mean, it's got its issues. So that's why the engine and trans from this car are going into the bike. This car has, does not have rather the stock uh, engine, so I'll go into that in a second. Another major issue that we discovered not too long after I got this car, and unfortunately we didn't see it when I was inspecting the car before buying it. How long I'll be able to see it in here. Well, I can't really get under there with this camera. This camera's not that small, but I have some photos and I'll bring them up in the video here of what it looked like. But the whole radiator support was just done. They cut out all the cancer. They found a nice piece of metal that was pretty much perfect and welded it in there and that was that was the uh, solution for that. So let's talk about what I've done to this car since I've owned it. Uh, aside from all that repair stuff I was just talking about. This will start from the inside. Changed the head unit. I mean, the head unit now is, is a little older, but definitely better than the stock unit. So I had a nice touchscreen unit put in a Pioneer, pretty decent. Um, as far as aesthetics go, I changed the shift knob, not a big deal there. I got the uh, AEM AFR gauge. Let me go to the other side so you can see it. So I put in the uh, air fuel ratio gauge and after I had some of the upgrades done that was recommended to me by the guy that did all the work, that's uh, Darren at Nis Foreman's out of North Carolina, awesome shop. Replaced the floor mats not too long ago with some dark gray ones. The light gray ones just kept getting dirty so quickly, so I just went with dark gray. And then down here I have the, the pedal covers for a 350Z and also the, the dead pedals out of a 350Z. Let's take a look under the hood real quick. So, yeah, as you can see, I have the battery disconnected right now. But um, this engine is out of a 2007 Altima. So this is the HR version of the motor. Quite a lot of work done. And here, here are some of the specs on the vehicle right now. I'll bring them up on the screen. So as you can see, this vehicle has quite a bit done to it already and there's some more stuff that this performance is going to do to it once it's once it's all swapped over into the black engine and things are things are running so we've got a four inch intake that's going to be changed out soon to a different intake he's got a revised intake for the new setup that I'm going to be running and we've got GTR injectors in here and we've got OBX headers and an OBX exhaust which while better than stock, it's not really the best. And I've got a solution for that in store as well that I'll get into in a, in a video re uh, really soon. Other than that, I've got these Megan Racing uh, coilovers, which I've had in pretty much almost the entire time I had the car. Uh, cosmetically, I've got the C-Mod grill, not the best quality construction grill in the world but it looks a million times better to me than the stock grill 
we've got the 2000 to 2001 black tail lights because the clear tail lights that come with this car are just hideous. They had to go real quick, so they're gone. These are sixth gen Maxima brakes all around. Now, that doesn't mean anything for the rear because the sixth gen had the same brake, rear brakes as the 5.5 gen anyway. But just to make it complete and clean, I got the whole set. And I got them powder coated red. You can see over here, actually, while I'm over here, you see the rust bubbling up there. So I had all this this rust work done. He fixed these arches on both sides. They're rusted out. Something pretty common with these Maximus, especially if you live in certain areas of the country. So some of that rust, as you can see, though, started to come back. And this was done, obviously, on both sides. Pretty much the same deal. And then I'm sure a lot of you already know these are 350Z anniversary wheels, 18s. And I think they look really good on the Maxima. So I've got some coilovers that are going to replace those Megan Racing coilovers. The exhaust work will be done in North Carolina. The rest of the exhaust basically headers back. A lot of this stuff I will be moving over to the new vehicle. Pretty much almost everything I'd say. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I have to get over to the shop to really start pushing the the black vehicle along because I've been busy with other stuff so it's been sitting a little bit but we'll we'll get back on that and uh if you guys have any questions let me know thanks for checking me out see you in the next video